Hey everybody, what's up? So within the past month, month and a half, uh, Iowa Retro Gamer Dad has made a couple of videos. One is called, I was jealous of retro game collecting YouTubers. And one of the things in it is him talking about how he was jealous of fellow YouTubers and their collecting collections and fame. And he asked, are you jealous of retro gamers, retro game YouTubers? And then he also asks, is your collection your own? He goes, basically, the name of the video, and I'm going to post that one more than anything, is Retro Gaming Influenced by YouTubers is Rush Collection Your Own. Uh, the, does this influence basically what people have, you know, trying to compete with other YouTubers? Does this influence your collection? Is it just no way to justify your retro game collection addiction? What do you guys think? Now, this is from the description of this video. Both of those are. And when I first started buying, you know, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, uh, DS, PSP, Vita, yeah, there really wasn't that much of a gaming, even YouTube at that time, you know, community. And so I can honestly say with those collections, no, they're not influenced by YouTubers because even with um, YouTube, when it came along, I wasn't watching a lot of gamers. I was watching other stuff. Yes, there are still gaming channels I do watch. Can I get back to that in a minute here? But they've only really uh, kind of influenced my collection in a certain way. I'll watch people you know, talk about different games that I might enjoy. And one of the examples is a YouTuber that I like watching who does talk about games in his weekly playlist is Asian Sleepy. And one of the games he talked about was the Callisto Protocol. I was been eyeballing this game. It was 20 bucks at Walmart. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to pick it up. He also has talked about the Mafia series. So yes, for another 20 bucks, I might have this. I don't know. I picked up Mafia, the definitive uh, edition. Yes, Sleepy has influenced some of the games that I buy, but not in the way most people think. And I'm like, okay, this game may look cool. But there are games like that I play that other people are like, oh, man, not that many people talk about this, or I've not heard of this game before. I've only seen ads for it or, you know, whatever. Uh, Dredge is one of those games. Um, Sam and Max is another so yes, so you know, Sam and Max is one of my favorite game series of all time. It's pretty sad not to see people give it love. It really truly is. Um, Sam and Max at the Road was the first game and Telltale got their hands on the series and they made it episodic, so I was waiting for the games to come out in one big collection. You know, with movies is my movie collection my own. I can honestly say that Vampire Mike, of all people, has influenced some of the movies that I have. Obviously, I've not bought some of the ones that he's talked about that I might find interesting. I've got a lot of movies to watch. And I've got some that I bought that looked interesting. Uh, one that I've not heard of yet is Assassin's Club. Assassin's Club, which is this guy's retiring. You have to go around the world and kill these other assassins. You know, Shudder has a great line of movies that, you know, Walmart that I've seen, not Target, um, that are interesting to watch. So a lot of what I watch isn't, you know, influenced by other YouTubers. Uh, this some, um, you know, with Mike, like I said, basketball, you know, people don't talk about that much, I think. Orgasmo, which I have a video coming up on, uh, is another you know, people bash the running man for being cheesy. And I'm just like, that's the charm of it. It really is. I may make a video on, you know, my favorite movies. I don't know, that favorite games. But, you know, when you think about it, you know, especially thinking about it over the course of time when he made those two videos, it's just, it's an interesting, you know, idea to really sit down and think about. Um let me go back to his I was jealous of Retro Gamer College description. Jealousy is kind of a word that 
I'm sick and tired of some people throwing out. The reason being is that when people talk about being jealous of other YouTubers and what they have, and like, yeah, you can be jealous of somebody to a certain extent. I've tried making this video, I'm going to admit, like 10 times. And I'm not, I'm going to go with this one shot. Now, you can be jealous of a YouTuber. Like I said, I was jealous of CM Retro Gaming because he got over 240 hero clicks for 15 bucks. And I was like, dude, that's so awesome. Why was it jealous, jealous? And even I got accused of being extremely jealous uh, about a YouTuber who I don't like because of things they do for people and the money they have. And I was trying to explain, no, that's not it. I tried explaining my viewpoint, and this person's massive, but nobody would listen because I think they're also jealous of these other this YouTuber and everything they have the money for and they do. And people do honestly live vicariously through these YouTubers. I think that's part of the problem. There are people that get jealous of somebody having, what's it, Little Nemo or the Adventures of Little Nemo? I'm not going to look it up. Um, it's a NES game that's worth a lot of money. Uh, Chrono Trigger, Seal, costs a lot of money. But the funny thing is, I, and I don't watch really that amount of Lego Channel. I don't the question at all. Where is it? I just had it. Um, there are Legos. There's one that's worth a huge amount of money. I can't find it now. It was only somebody made for San Diego Comic Con. And it's worth like 15 or more K. And it was a free thing that was being given away. Here we go. I bought this because I had an appointment and I just needed something to read because my phone's battery is getting wonky. Um, so I'm sure there are people who are jealous of the person who has this. Yeah, 15 K for one Lego set. Which is the most that is in here. But yeah, I mean, it's just nuts that people are willing to spend so much on this stuff to get it. And I don't know. It was like first edition books or whatever. There are people that can't afford them and they're like, oh yeah, you have it, man. I want that edition. But it's so expensive. I don't know. You know, and like I said, the reason I'm not going to give the name of that YouTuber is because of how massive their channel is. And, you know, you try to say anything and you get the, you know, the J word thrown around. Uh, you're basically a bad person if you don't like them because they're a philanthropist and they do all this stuff. And yeah, you're like, I still don't agree with the way they do things. And then you're hor you're still a horrible person. Nobody's willing to talk to you about it. You know, get your opinion. That's why I don't like the, the word jealousy thrown out. You know, um, let me go with another YouTuber here. CM Retro Gaming. I basically talked about the idea of keeping up with Joneses. You know, how there are people out there that want to have what other people have, but they can't have it. And it ticks them off. I think that's part of the problem with YouTube isn't just jealousy, but the fact that people want what they can't have. So they may max out their credit cards. They may, you know, skip responsibilities. And people have said this other than me. It's a lot of people say this. If you have a family, take your responsibilities first before you do this stuff. If you can't get an expensive game, hey, that's fine. Because you're taking care of your family. If you had disposable income, great. You know, if you can afford it, go for it. It's just... YouTube is nuts. I think social media in itself has created this problem where we have people who just want everything they can't have. And with a lot of YouTubers and Twitch streamers, all I can think of is one song, Money for Nothing and Your Chicks for Free. I don't know why, but 
Oh, that's not the whole title of the song, but it's just the way that it, you know, it makes a sound. But some of these YouTubers who people are like, oh, you know, they get whatever they want. No, they don't. They may work hard to make a video to get what they want, but some of them just get lucky. That's just an opinion. I know this is going over 10 minutes. It probably sounds like I'm going up on a rant. It was. Um, but yeah, I'm not jealous of people. I'll give a great example of somebody here. Um, my friend JB works at a great paying job. They always have. They have the money to get whatever they want. And I see, you know, the stuff that they have. I'm like, okay, that's cool. You know, whatever. Have they influenced my gaming collection a little bit? Because I watched them stream stuff. I'm like, oh, that looks cool game. And they're like, here you go. I'm like, all right, cool. <laughs> but yeah, it's just, it's, it's amazing how people, you know, work out. And I don't know. I really don't. And the reason why I want to make a video combining these two topics that he originally made was, I think, both go hand in hand. Because of the fact that there is jealousy, not only in the retro video game community, probably, but like I said, Lego community, action fair community, movie community. And there are a lot of people that I watch that do influence stuff, but I'm not going to buy everything that people talk about. I don't have that much money, you know? It's just not worth it to me. If I find something on the cheap side, you know, I may buy it. You know, it's like, what does that other mean? Like I said, you know, I bought the Cluster Project because it was 20 bucks. To me, that was a fair amount. I don't like spending a huge amount of money on retro games for that. There was a series that I found on you know, eBay that was worth the money, so I'm like, I'm going to get this. I don't know. Let me know what you think. You know, do you, do you feel like you're jealous of other, you know, I'm going to say this, of other YouTubers, of what they have, whether it be movies, video games, whatnot. Um, have they, you know, have some of these people influence your collection? And like I said, I am going to post a link to both, probably to, well, I'm going to post a link to this channel. I'm going to say why. He also does talk about video game addiction and addiction in general. So maybe that's something that is, you know, part of why you buy it, you know, what you do, because you might have an addiction to buying games or movies that you may not be able to afford, different stuff like that. So that's it, everybody. I'll talk to y'all later. Sorry for it sounds like I'm rambling or mess anything up. But I've tried making this move, this uh, video so many times, like 10 times now. So I'm just going to go with this. That's it. Talk to y'all later. Take care. Mm -hmm.